Hi, Jimmy Pascal back with JP's Coin Crafts, and today we're going to talk about making a two coin pendant and doming it. And what we're going to do is utilize this right here. This is a quarter ounce copper round, 0.999 copper, depicts Lady Liberty, the Mercury Head dime design. Right there we go. And we're going to dome it. I've already made one, or not quite finished, but I've started the doming process. So basically taking this and turning it into this. <laughs> and to do that, I remember I used to use this right here was a doming block. And it was, you know, it was pretty tough. You had uh, ball bearings and you had to take a center punch and punch a hole into the coin, kind of fig figure out which one of these would, would fit your coin and lay it in. The ball bearing would fall off and all that. But there's, an, there's a better way. There's an easier way. And that's with the doming toolkit from Coinwing Tools. And here we have a base here with some spacers. And then this is what you're going to use, the push rods. And this is the large. This is a medium. And then we have a small. The diameter here is like a half inch, a little bit less than a half inch there. And this larger one we're going to use today. And it's, you know, about three quarters of an inch in diameter. But I'm going to show you how to utilize this kit, making doming so much easier and a lot faster. They also have these in Delrin as well. We're going to use, utilize a stainless steel and pretty simple. You got my, for this coin here, it's a 26.5 millimeter coin. I want the Lady Liberty to be the dome part. So I'll put it face down into my die. Make sure it's all level. Then for this right here, I'll put spacers in here because that keeps you from having to go too deep when you're uh, doming. All right, and I'm going to utilize the large stainless steel push rod, but you just cover it. Lay in your push rod, and I'm going to use the, Ar uh, the hydraulic press, not the arbor press, because I like to do mine in short increments, and this allows me to do that with the hydraulic press. And I did not anneal the coin. There's no need to anneal these. If you were making a bell dome or something like that, once you got it to a certain point, you would probably, you would need to anneal before you went to the Swedish wrap dies. But this is for a two coin domed pendant. And this is the beginning process. So I've got my coin in there, my quarter inch copper round. And now I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six, Let's give it seven. I feel it getting near the bottom a little bit. Take it out. Let's look at it. It's already starting the dome. I compare them, compare them. And this one here needs to be done more to match this one. So you want to match them up. Get back in frame here. I want to match these up. One's bigger than the other. So I'll put it back in. Make sure it's nice and level. The top back on, back on. Let's get it down there to it was touching. And one, two, two tugs there. So much closer. And this is what to match them up. You need to keep on. So one on the left is one I'm working with. Still, this one needs to be done maybe one or two more times. This one you need to be very careful. Put it back in. Make sure it's all nice and level. Look around at it. There we go. There we go. Still like to use all three spacers. Back in. 
give it a, just a couple more tugs very slight and we should be one two just little tugs now we have two that are similar and what we'll end up doing is putting these two together and there's different ways to do things we'll be putting these two together and making a two coin pendant but this is the beginning process how you dome and doming these coins was so much easier than in the past using ball bearings. Okay, let's go to the next process. Okay, the next process to make the two coin pendant, we're gonna do it out of the quarter ounce copper rounds, is the sanding process. And this is the reed side, and we haven't sanded it yet, but it needs to look like the one on the right. Need to sand it down some. And what we have here is I utilize, I like to use this plate here with a 120 grit sand disc on top of it. Peel, peel and stick and uh, it's glued down on top of this six by six metal plate. So here's the plate, six by six. It's a good size for sanding. And then these are the, the five and three quarter inch disc, just peel and stick, which you can buy. Stick it onto the disc and you're ready to go. This is 120 grit. Now, <clears throat> if I was taking like a bell dome and sanding, it's pretty easy to do by hand, no problem. But these, these are shallow. And I've tried to sand with these without using a glove and your fingers will take a, they'll wear out pretty quick, your fingertips. So I use these nitrile gloves, nitrile gloves, I get them from Lowe's. And not only do they help keep a grip on the, the coin or the round that you're using, but now you're gonna save your fingertips. And you know, this one, I haven't sanded yet, so I need to go ahead and sand it to get it to the same level as the other one. Because when you put the coins together, you need to make sure there are no gaps in between when the two coins and they need to fit per perfectly together nice and flat together so just basically this is it the sand I use this for all types of things a lot of sanding and it, it's kind of it's probably probably more of about a 150 grit right here because I've but if I wanted to get some deeper stuff to go to the outer edges, you, you can hear the difference. It's 120 right here. It's about 150 right here. And then I have my magnifier. And I'll just sit here and look at it and see how close I am to getting it. Now, you don't want to send it too down too far because we're going to end up having to cut grooves. We're going to cut grooves here. Where we put our bail so I use a eight millimeter uh, jump ring and it's gonna become the bail that I use but uh, but I'm getting close it don't take it much longer and I'll be sanding this and getting it all together but I just want to kind of show you what I use when I sand <laughs> 